have our Hawaiian music nightly from 5.30 to 6.30. And um, our you know, Hawaiian music and a little bit of hula. Our dancers will be out in just a moment. But in the meantime, um, I just want to let you know, besides our shows that we have in the evening, we also have our um, complimentary cultural classes in the daytime. So Mondays is ukulele uh, that we have back there um, in our Hellamoa Hale, our guest services. Um, Tuesday is a free hula lesson, which is uh, right here. So if you want to um, join us for hula, uh, please come. So all the cultural classes are during the weekday, Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock. Wednesday is long Halloween. Thursday is a, um, so usually at the Halloween they'll make a bracelet. On uh, Thursday is our um, Keiki Hula class, so that's a children's hula class right here. And on Fridays we have our, um, our lay making, so that's also at 11. So the low Halloween and lay making is usually upstairs in building C, um, and it's, they provide all of the material. Also, even for ukulele, they provide the ukulele. So if you want to come and join us, these are free um, cultural classes. And, um, you know, that's open to all of you, all of our visitors, our first time visitors, or even if you've never done hula or Hawaiian music or play the ukulele, you can come and, and learn that a little bit, okay? So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. And then in the evening time, of course, we do have our our, our little shows here on the stage. And this is just our way. This is the Royal Hawaiian Center's way of welcoming everybody here to Hawaii, and especially being right here in Waikiki. So thank you so much. Thank you for coming. And um, I think I see our hula dancers tonight. <laughs> They're gonna do this um, song. This one is a hula dancer's favorite. Hapalina Lahi Lahi. It says, I've got a sweetheart. She has rosy cheeks. And I absolutely adore her. And I adore these girls. They join us from a hula school right here in Honolulu. From Hala Hula O Maiki. Founded in 1946 by hula master Maiki Ayu. Um, and you know, we're so blessed to just be a little part of that. All right, oh mahalo. There are ladies. Well, I see Kiele and I see Mariana. Oh my gosh. Hi ladies. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yeah, that's good.
Sisters, All right, everybody. So tonight we have with us, we have, um, oh, I see Maliana. This is Maliana, everybody. Yeah, and we have Kaolana. <laughs> we have Kiele. So blessed to have our hula dancers with us tonight. Now, this next song will take us over to Maui Island. This is also another favorite song. It talks about the place called Ulu Palakua and that it is the home of the Hawaiian cowboy. And yes, in Hawaii, we have cowboys. Yes, we call them paniolo. At Ulu Palakua, it says in our song that they like to wear the beautiful way and the fragrance, a very sweet fragrance of abapuhi, which are the ginger blossoms. It is profuse and so sweet there. So here are our ladies to take you to the place called Ulu Palakua, up Maukawigo, up to the mountain area. Enjoy another hula with our lovely ladies. And now our um, Maliana is going to use a Hawaiian instrument called Uli Uli, which is a feathered rattle. And this song, well, when we were growing up, we, we learned it as Kahua Hawaii. But I think the world calls it the Hawaiian war chant, but it's not a war chant at all, you know. It really is a love song. <laughs> words given by the younger brother of King David Kalakaua. His name was Prince William Leleohoku. It says, you and I were sitting in the midst of the waterfall. Surrounding us are these fragrant mountain ferns. And being here together with you brings me such great joy. That's what the words say anyway. But here is our Maliana with Kahua Hawaii also known as the Hawaiian War Chant. <laughs> but I'll say Hawaiian love song. <laughs> Thank you. 
fantastic job, everybody. Oh, yeah. That is our fun and wonderful Mariana. And now we're going to just slow things a bit. We're going to go back to Maui Island with our next song. We're going to go down to Lahaina, to the place where the Farden family used to have their home, the Farden estate that was called Pua Mana. And in our song, it says that at Puamana, it's very near to the ocean. And on this property are the swaying cocoa palms and the fragrant Hawaiian flowers. Cue the fragrant Hawaiian flowers. <laughs> um, it says that it was a home filled with love and happiness, which was true because I think they have like 13 or 14 children. That's a lot of love and happiness, yeah? And so, Ladies and gentlemen, here are our ladies with the classic, this song called Pua Mana by Auntie Irmgard Farden Aluli for her family home. take you over to Molokai. Molokai is kind of like right next door to Maui. And this song talks about well, being over there at Molokai. 
Now, Molokai is not one of those places. It is unlike Oahu. It's like 100% totally different. It's like stepping back in time, like Oahu maybe 60 or 70 years ago, because if you blink in Molokai, you miss town, definitely. They don't have buildings like this, but it is still such a beautiful, serene place. And I think the people of Molokai, they like it like that. This song is entitled a Hihibai. Hihibai are the freshwater snails that at one time used to be collected and prepared as a delicacy, but today they are protected because in Hawaii, we have so many endangered animals and endangered species. So uh, the Hihibai are protected. This song though, it talks about also gathering together with family and loved ones to sing and share all of our favorite island songs. It talks about the mountains. It talks about light misty rains that just cover the land. And so, the abundance of Moloka'i. This is the song called a Hihivai. song. Our hapahaole songs, well, they are Hawaiian songs, but they have English lyrics. They have English, English words. And so um, a lot of the songs or the majority of the hapahaole songs were written between the 1920s and 1960s, I want to say. And really, we still enjoy singing and dancing because they are our stories. They still are our stories. And if you notice, the motions of the hula really do go along with the words of the song. And so, here is a favorite. This one is entitled Song of Old Hawaii. And it really is just a little nostalgic for us. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have our beautiful ladies. Here is Kiele, this is Maliana, and this is Kaumana with Song of Old Hawaii. song of old Hawaii. And now, uh, we're gonna have fun with this one. This next song is called Sophisticated Hula, and we feature our lovely and fun and wonderful Maliana. <laughs> she certainly loves to hula, and we're always happy to have her here with us on a Wednesday night, everybody. So have fun with this. This is Maliana with Sophisticated Hula. Sophisticated hula is the talk of the 
Sophisticated hula with Molly Ananda. Now, doesn't she make it look so easy? Just like you could do it yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, so that being said, all right, everybody. We want you to stand up. This is kind of halfway through our show, so everybody, just stand up. We want you to stretch out a little bit. Stretch over to the right. Yes, yes. Listen to Kaulana. So, Kaulana. Kaulana teaches hula. So do I. I teach hula, too. And if you were here on uh, this past uh, Tuesday, then you had me as the teacher. <laughs> I did come here to teach the hula for all of you. Now, Kaulana, Kaulana, not only is she a teacher, a hula teacher, but she's also my baby sister. <laughs> oh yes, yes, that's it. Come up close. I promise we do not bite hard. <laughs> Okay, so let's work on our kaholo. All right, everybody, kaholo to the right. Rest your hands on your hips. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Ready? And right, two, three, and left, two, three. Step, right, two, three, and left. Once again, go. Right, two, three, and hula to the left. That's it. Hula to the right and left. Now let's try the ummy. Around, around, ummy and it's a circle with your hips, okay? Around and around and around and good. Let's do ummy. Now do one, two, three. One, two, three. Again, ummy and ummy. Go again, three. One, two, three. Again, ummy. And um, me go one, two, three. Okay, good. Very good, everybody. How do you feel? Well, very good because I see you still smiling at me. That's good. Let's try kaholo with the hands. Ready? Go and kaholo to the right, kaholo to the left, kaholo to the right. And now let's try the ummi. Hand across the chest. Um, me and around. Um, me and around. Okay, now we're gonna do the fast one coming up. Ready, go. And one, two, three. Okay, good. Are you ready? We're gonna do a song, okay? Let's try. Let's try. Let's have a little fun. And you know, I promise, whatever happens here in Hawaii, it stays in Hawaii. <laughs> it's up on YouTube, but that's okay. Here we go. All right, everybody, let's try. Kaholo to the left, Kaholo to the right. Oh, we're going, let's hitch a ride, go. Oh, we're going to a hooky love, pulling your nets. A hooky, hooky, hooky love. Everybody loves a hooky love, pulling the nets. Where the love love is the cocoa and the big. Oh, 
dancers for next week's show. I think I have a few options now. Girls, you can take the day off next week. No. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? I'm out of work? I'm out of my hula game? Thank you. Thank you so much. Did you have fun? Main thing. Now, the show is not over. We just wanted you to move around a little bit because you probably have been eating a lot of great food here in Hawaii. There's so many flavors and things to just try out. In fact, here in the center, you know, we, not only do we have our food court, which is the Pa'inalanai, but we have excellent restaurants here in the center. Like, we have Doraku Sushi upstairs. We also have Suntory Restaurant. These are just restaurants I'm looking at. Uh, back here we have Wolfgang's. We also have our Island Vintage Coffee Shop. And if you just want shave ice, well, I think they have a shave ice stand down here. Oh my gosh, we have Junbi back here. If you want a cup of um, healthy juice, they'll make it for you, special. And then, you know, for those of you who just, they need a salad or something on the go, we also have our ABC store. They have sandwiches and salads and all your little needs and your gifts too. ABC has everything. Even I think they might even have an ukulele in there. <laughs> so, yes, the center provides so many things for so many people. All right, so we just wanted you to move around. And now our ladies are coming back to the stage. They're going to join us once again. They're going to use a Hawaiian instrument called puili. The puili are made of split bamboo. So earlier you saw the uli uli, which is our feathered rattle. And now they're going to use the puili. Okay, show them the pu'ili, everybody. Yes, it is a Hawaiian instrument, and it makes a rustling kind of sound. Oh, very good. I love that. Okay, this song is going to take us to Hilo, that wonderful rainy town, but we won't talk about that part. Or maybe we might. <laughs> but anyway, Hilo, Hilo, we love Hilo. So here we go, everybody. Here's a song called Hilo Eh with our lovely dancers using the Pu'ili. Here we go.
Lojong, that is Hilo, and mahalo to our ladies. Now, why do we mention Hilo? Hilo is the hometown of a very famous Hawaiian woman who was featured last year on um, the U.S. Mint's, one of the U.S. Mint's quarters. So last, every year, the U.S. Mint releases brand new coins, and the commemorative coin last year, one of five, was a Hawaiian woman who was, she was chosen. Her name was Edith Kanaka'ole, and she came from Hilo. She was a very well-known kumuhula, and her hula school was Halau o Kekuhi, which continues today by her family members who carry on her legacy of hula. But also, you know, she was an educator. She helped to put our Hawaiian language back in the schools, and so we are very blessed by her. She was also a wonderful composer, um, and so we'd like to do one of her compositions, not her only one, but one of her more famous ones, which describes a day of gathering, limu. So limu is the Hawaiian word for seaweed, and in Hawaii we gather seaweed or gather limu because we like to eat it. <laughs> and it's so healthy and good for you, you know? Rich in iron and vitamin A. And so here are our ladies with Auntie Edith Kanaka'ole's composition entitled Kaulu Vehi O Ke Kai. selection is going to take us over to Kauai. Oh my gosh, Kauai. They must have heard me. <laughs> okay, anyway, we try to make it fast, but this song, written by Bob Nelson, takes us to Hanalei, and Hanalei is just a very peaceful, wonderful place. Kauai Island, you know, is the only island not conquered by Kamehameha. 
And so we always think of it as our peaceful island. Here are our ladies with the song called Hanalei Moon.
now we're going to do a very nice Hapahali song. Our Hapahali songs, well, they are Hawaiian songs, but they have English lyrics, they have English, English words. And so, um, a lot of the songs, or the majority of the Hapahali songs, were written between the 1920s and 1960s, I want to say. And really, we still enjoy singing and dancing because they are our stories. They still are our stories. And if you notice, the motions of the hula really do go along with the words of the song. And so, here is a favorite. This one is entitled Song of Old Hawaii. And it really is just a little nostalgic for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our beautiful ladies. Here is Kiele, this is Maliana, and this is Kaulana, who is Song of Old Hawaii. everybody that is song of old Hawaii and now we're gonna have fun with this one this next song is called sophisticated hula and we feature our lovely and fun and wonderful Maliana <laughs> she certainly loves to hula and we're always happy to have her here with us on a Wednesday night everybody so have fun with this this is Maliana with sophisticated hula Do 
used to hate it, hold on, it's the talk of the town. Swing your partner around, swing your partner around. Sophisticated, hold on, it's the talk of the town. She make it look so easy, just like you could do it yourself, right? Okay, so that being said, all right, everybody, we want you to stand up. This is kind of halfway through our show, so everybody, just stand up. We want you to stretch out a little bit. Stretch over to the right. Yes, yes. Listen to Kaulana. So, Kaulana. Kaulana teaches hula. So do I. I teach hula, too. And if you were here on uh, this past uh, Tuesday, then you have me as the teacher. <laughs> and then come here to teach you the hula for all of you. Now, Kalana, Kalana, not only is she a teacher, a hula teacher, but she's also my baby sister. <laughs> oh yes, yes, that's it. Come up close. I promise we do not bite hard. <laughs> okay, so let's work on our kahola. All right, everybody, kahola to the right. Rest your hands on your hip. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Ready? And right, two, three, and left, two, three. Step. Right, two, three, and left. Once again, go. Right, two, three, and hula to the left. That's it. Hula to the right, and left. Now let's try the ami. Around, around, um, me and it's a circle with your hips, okay? Around and around and around and good. Let's do um, me. Now do one, two, three. One, two, three. Again, um, me and um, me. Go again, three. One, two, three. Again, um, me and um, me. Go. One, two. Okay, good. Very good, everybody. How do you feel? Well, very good because I see you still smiling at me. That's good. Let's try Kaholo with the hands. Ready? Go. And Kaholo to the right. Kaholo to the left. Kaholo to the right. And now let's try the Ami. Hand across the chest. Ami and around. Um, me and around. Okay, now we're gonna do the fast one coming up. Ready, go. And one, two, three. Okay, good. Are you ready? We're gonna do a song, okay? Let's try. Let's try. Let's have a little fun. And you know, I promise, whatever happens here in Hawaii, it stays in Hawaii. <laughs> it's up on YouTube, but that's okay. Here we go. All right, everybody, let's try. Kaholo to the right, Kaholo to the left, Kaholo to the right. Oh, we're going, let's hit your right, go. Oh, we're going to a hooky lao, pulling your nets. 